Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighters League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of this game. Uh, we are, I think, in week number 14. Things are going generally good. We got a few agents. Let's take a look what we want to do. Uh, we definitely want to get a few more rewards, intel and uh, some supplies. Never bad. I hope it's Eddie is helping us with that. Then we got another search expedition for a special mission. I like that. Remember, Latif by now me. has been an expert in running these uh, side ops. And what does the skull up here mean? Okay, well, it doesn't matter because really what I would want to do is hit Nicastro and hit them very very hard because as you can see running into the problem where Nicastro continuously uh, makes progress and I just can't let that happen so we're going to do network interference sabotage mission get some medical kits some uh, skill points and we are taking our newfound agent Celine with us apparently a melee agent herself so let's start the mission here we go network interference destroy the radio tower so Celine nice is uh, a secretive agent that means we can also climb up wherever needed and she has three assassinations that's not bad always appreciate to have one of each Ooh. ginormous temple ruins What do we have here? Nice. That was a good start. Three for one. Hold on to this. Celestine moves up. Got a fire bomb, okay. I'm not sure who's going to take that. Celestine, maybe. Let's drop the smoke bomb. A concoction of saltpeter and brimstone. Must hurry now. Good. Slowly but surely, we're taking out all of uh, the agents. Has a use. One of us had to die for our chosen cause. One day it will be me. This will serve. I start to like that character. Very leisure type of character. Uh, these two could have spotted me out. Could be a bit careful here.
Good, that oil plus our fire can make for a good combination. Another one falls. My sister and brother showed me how to do this. Okay, um, almost there, right? Almost too efficient in getting all of these guys down. Holy schmoly. Only three more left. Yep, stick together. That's it. Nah, almost got them. Almost had them. Cool, so what do we have here? Salamander burning. Strike true for those who cannot. Nice. Okay. That's good. Uh what else do we have? Three speed for two rounds. I like that. Occult. Uh, she will either gain stress or one AP. Let's just gamble. Of the coin. Well, we got stress. Cool. Melee basic attack for poison. I see, okay. And the curse itself. Okay. Instead of. Quicker than shadow. Doing something crazy. How about, first of all, Here. everybody gets inspired? Okay, cool. Secondly. Keep on like this. You get extra AP. No All right, and I'm moving up. Behold, he's now poisoned. And if we had the extra abilities, we could. Easily walk up to them. And basically kill him. Therefore, re... Um, oh no, she gets her AP by gambling. Then she poisons. Then she goes there. Hits, 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 hits. To remove her stress. Okay. I see how it is. I am tired of your face. Kick knockdown. Kill. And remove burning on ourselves. Okay, cool. And she can gain, uh, gain evade. 
That's really good. I like it. Because it's such a good uh, self buff, right? Moving up, Let's part ways. kicking him down. And in the meantime, we are fully moving up here. It's a huge map. Destroy the radio tower generators. Round sound the radio defenses activate. Okay, ah. Uh. We need to take these guys out, but I've seen it one time. That was the whole stress break thing. Good move up and start killing these things. Hmm. Beware, reinforcements. I don't think well, so. lots of reinforcements, but luckily for us, I think we can take them. Moves up. Really basic attack. Good. Almost done with that thing. One hit. Oh, that's even a kill. Fantastic. Take her out. Your name's on my dance card. And take both of you out. She's so unbelievably good. I mean, that's four enemies and she's soloing them. needs a quick escape we can make it out of this I know we can good one kill Lovely sight. Another kill. You must practice a lot. And that was close pushed enough. into the wall. Plus another this kill. Unbelievable. She really got all four down and didn't even take a single point of damage.
Very nice. Very nice. Good. So, we cleared this room, but we gave up a lot of our Don't wander. Uh, out of combat abilities. I was sort of hoping for a second wind, but that apparently is not the case. We got some supplies, a frag grenade, a meager frag grenade. Game is not very rewarding. Another smoke bomb there. And frag grenade too. This will strike fear into their hearts. Uh, she was the one with the buff debuff, right? No, she was the one. Uh, whenever she kills an enemy, her stress is reduced. Here we go. Oh, wonderful. Uh, what we're going to do is... Anna Sophie is if healing. Not, grant me your healing miracle. That gives everybody their signature abilities back and then we got second win. Doesn't fully give us uh, back uh, the out of combat abilities, but it's good enough. Wait here. Oh, okay. That's a triple. Lifted. Well, we used all we had, so unfortunately the rest now is going to be resolved in Mortal Kombat. We can do it. So, next up, let's hand over extra on our side. AP, fantastic, and then... Crowd control this guy. Keep them on the back foot. Okay, cool. I would like an occult gamble, if I may. There we go. Got four AP to spend. Uh, when the unit is attacked, they receive an additional stress. Okay, good. So, stress for you. And... You Bit of an explosion. That apparently did not create more stress. Hmm. Definitely more speed. <clears throat> that is super helpful. And... Just as you taught me. Oh, 
Okay, I see how it is. Wonderful. Got a decent set uh, setup here. Into knockdown. No hard feelings. And we almost got them. Cool. So without leveling her, I think the whole combo of her melee attacks isn't just as good as it could be. Pretty sure once you level her, she's just going to rock the boat absolutely mad. I can see how the whole stress overload thing could be really good. What I don't like is two melee characters. So not the biggest fan yet of that. Bring ourselves in to evade. Celeste moves up. And Overwatch. They are going to come in. Lots of enemies are going to come, but I think we're going to be fine. So we're continuing to gamble. There we go. Without her little tricks, I think... The damage is okay, but nothing to write home about. I mean, 35 and 35 and this guy is poisoned. Good, we got a lot of cooldowns, which is great. You stay away from me. This guy is ready to be uh, killed next turn. And more enemies are incoming. Take this. Luckily for us, they're running very close. Let me help. Go, motivate. Thanks to our cooldown refresh, we can we can do that right away. Yet again. Cool. Unfortunately, you need to reload, but reloading also reduces cooldowns, so that's not bad either. We're gambling. A little bit of stress. And stress has been immediately reduced. If you have peace to make. Make it now. All right. Oh. 
hit. Unfortunately, burning, you don't have the option to... Apparently, you don't have the option to I'm maneuver your character I dare you. in a way so uh, like rare, XCOM does it with um, hitting control. To set waypoints. <laughs> nice. Just killed them immediately and remove burning. That was cool. The stress reduction definitely works well. That passive. Unfortunately, she would do so much better if you had the whole combo unlocked. Watch out! They brought more. Going somewhere? Uh, you know, all of these are melee characters, so might as well move up. Come with me. Gambling with the occult, and we were successful. Curse onto you. Just out of curiosity. I think we need to set uh, these guys up um, so that they are killable. And I forgot, completely forgot that she has the entrance ability. That's so good. You're in over your head. Good. One down. Two down. Three down. And a nice little push kick. Down, boy. Anna Sophie reduces her cooldowns. <laughs> the mesmered enemy just you see how easily they randomly attacks. Cool. I can I can definitely see how those uh, three could make about. a good team together. This way. The Mesmer ability is good, since it effectively kills some uh, someone for a turn, or takes them out for a turn. percent sure how good her gambling ability will be over time. Knock, knock. 
Once she can use it an unlimited amount of times, she's only really limited by her ability to take what kills. And in that, she might be a bit uh, competition for our other melee, because both of them essentially want those uh, finishers. What does it do? That's not, I mean, we already have one of these. Not bad. I'll take it. I think we can drop the smoke bomb and we do have two haste and flasks. Good. I think we got nearly all of it or all of the stuff here. Only thing that we haven't gotten is that mode of fate. This will be of use. Couple extra supplies and we're good. So that brings us very much it is to the extraction zone the and almost to the end of the mission. Nicastra has suffered a major defeat this time. I would love to see that we're actually pushing him back for once. Skill point uh, gained, very good, and a lot of stuff. What well, might be interesting? So the sage agent has two percent crit chance of scoring a, a crit. Agent's cool uh, cooldowns are reduced by one. Hmm. I know who really needs the sage. Good, then we got uh, debuff ability. Uh, target enemy takes 40% more damage for more damage this round. That's a great debuff ability. And we got poisoned. Cast the poison hazard. That goes nicely together with her other abilities. That goes nicely together with her other abilities because currently she does have a poison, normal poison attack, but not a poison AoE. This, however, wouldn't be bad either. I really like this Satur, so we're keeping this. Salamander, I'm not 100% convinced because we're burning ourselves. And that's meh, so and so. But that might be Threads good. Are unnecessary for one who knows the old words. So, what's the outcome of this round? Nicastro. We took threat away from him. Got another mission down here. Is that the tower? It must be. Worth the effort. Good.
Good, chord activity in return. Strum is picking a little bit up. Nicastro got a bit of dampening. So overall we're fine. Week 15 worked well for us. Let's go through the motions here. We wanted Anna Sophie to unlock a few more skills. Uh, bleeding would be good, sure. And we're keeping the r remaining Mark, skills. Don't have enough ether to, to really do anything to guide the hand of major. Let's see. We got a nice little event here. And there is the option for a reduction of all of uh, them. Great. That's just good. Okay, so I think that's it for today's episode, guys. I uh, appreciate your viewership as always. We're going to continue here the next time uh, when we hopefully can push the storyline a little bit forward and maybe also get some of those last resources that we haven't gotten so far. Thanks for uh, watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.